Top 6 Best 4K Gaming Monitor in 2023 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 6. EVE Spectrum ES07D03 After a rocky start with its ill-fated foray into the world of tablets, EVE has smashed it out of the park with the Spectrum ES07D03. It's a beautifully designed gaming monitor with a stunning LG PAL and all the features you could possibly want from a modern screen. That's the result of a crowd design creation process for the Spectrum, and it certainly looks like it's paid off. Except for those wanting decent HDR, with a peak luminance of 750 SID slash M2. Number 5. Dell S2721 TS. Most fork gaming monitors tend to cost more than regular fork monitors, so if you want one, you'll have to be prepared to spend some money. However, if you're on a tight budget and want a basic fork monitor for console gaming, the Dell S2721 TS is the best budget fork gaming monitor we've tested. Although it's designed for the office, it still provides decent gaming performance at a low cost, and it's good enough for playing fork games up to 60 eps from the £5 or Xbox Series X however, because it doesn't support HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, you can't take full advantage of the consoles, so you'll need to spend more on the Gigabyte M28U if you want that. As expected for a basic office-oriented monitor, its motion handling isn't special, but it's still okay, and there isn't too much blur behind fast-moving objects. It has low input lag for a responsive feel while gaming, lower than 4 TVs, which is an advantage of getting a monitor for gaming, even if it's not gaming-specific. It even has VR support that works with the Xbox, but not with the £5 because the £5 requires HDMI forum VR support. Number 4. Gigabyte M28U if you find that the 32-inch screen size of the Gigabyte M32U is too big or you want something cheaper, look into the Gigabyte M28U. It's essentially a smaller version of the M32U with a less ergonomic stand, and there are some minor differences in performance too. While the M32U has a quicker response time, the M28U gets brighter, so it's better to use in well-lit rooms and has better reflection handling. It has many of the same gaming features with HDMI 2.1 bandwidth that lets you play fork games up to 120 depths, and even if it doesn't support the full 48 GEPS bandwidth of HDMI 2.1, it doesn't affect the overall picture quality or gaming performance with either the £5 or Xbox Series X. It has low input lag for a responsive feel and an excellent response time with high frame rate signals. While there's more overshoot with 60 app signals, it's still good, and the overall appearance of motion is great. It also has a backlight strobing feature, and unlike most monitors, it works at the same time as VRR and flickers within a wide range, helping reduce persistence blur. Number 3. Gigabyte M32U If you need a simpler fork gaming monitor in the mid-range price category, then the Gigabyte M32U is a good alternative to the Samsung Odyssey Neo D7 S32BG75. While it has the same 32-inch screen, there are a few differences in picture quality, as the Gigabyte doesn't have mini LED backlighting or the same panel type, so it performs worse in dark rooms as blacks look gray. However, it has wider viewing angles, making it a better choice for co-op gaming, as the image remains accurate from the sides. It has a quick response time, low input lag, and VR support for a smooth and responsive gaming experience. It also has a few extra features like a frame rate counter and a dashboard that shows all the vital information from your PC, like the CPU and TPU temps, memory, and other helpful information. There are also similar monitors from Gigabyte that don't cost much, like the Gigabyte M32UC which is a very similar monitor with a higher contrast ratio for better darkroom performance. However, it has worse viewing angles and worse response times, so the M32U provides better motion handling. Number 2. Samsung Odyssey Neo D7 S32BG75 
If you want to save a bit of money while getting nearly the same features, consider getting an upper mid-range monitor like the Samsung Odyssey Neo G7 S32 BG75. It's a lower-end model in Samsung's lineup compared to the Samsung Odyssey Neo G8 S32 BG85, with the main difference being that it has a lower 165Hz refresh rate and 240Hz. While it provides a high refresh rate for fork gaming, you can't achieve higher refresh rates even with a lower resolution. Still, you get the same 32-inch screen with mini-LED backlighting to provide great picture quality in dark scenes, and highlights also pop in HDR thanks to the decent HDR brightness. It provides excellent gaming performance as it has a quick response time across its entire refresh rate range, and it has an optional backlight strobing feature to reduce persistence blur. However, it only works within a narrow range. It has low input lag for a responsive feel with most settings, and it has native FreeSync VR support with GSINC compatibility. Like with the Neo D8, there's flicker with low frame rate signals, and Samsung added a setting to reduce the flicker, but it also increases the input lag. Number 1. Samsung LS32 BG852 NXGO. The best fork gaming monitor we've tested is the Samsung LS32BG852NXGO. It's a fantastic gaming monitor that's future-proof because it's the first fork, 240Hz monitor available to the consumer market. While you can't hit the max refresh rate with a fork resolution now, you at least won't have to worry about buying another monitor when technology starts to support it. In terms of its gaming performance, Motion looks incredible thanks to its very fast response time, and it has low input lag for a responsive feel. It also has native FreeSync variable refresh rate, VRR, support, and GSINC compatibility to reduce screen tearing. However, there are some flicker issues with VRR enabled with low frame rates, but it's only with dark scenes and hard to see with most content. Another advantage of this monitor is the excellent picture quality. It uses mini-LED backlighting to produce a decent local dimming feature, and combined with its high native contrast, it displays deep blacks with minimal blooming for good picture quality in dark rooms. It makes it a good choice for HER gaming as some colors look vivid, highlights pop, and it displays a wide range of colors. So guys, that's all for the top 6 best 4K gaming monitor in 2023. The links of all products are given in the description which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then take care. Bye.